Welcome back, I guess. <laughs> Welcome back. Let's tip some scales, and it's, uh, I think you were the one who was handing out the cards, Bio. Uh, yeah, you were, you were handing out the, um, you were looking for, a, you're looking for a certain person to do a job for. I am looking for a motivational speaker. Okay. Uh. Okay, uh. Well, um, let's just say as a motivational speaker, hi, hi there, hi there, sir. I'm, 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 I'm a very, I'm a very qualified motivational speaker. For you see, I'm open to a lot of ideas. You know, I can, I'm open to all sorts of motivational speaking jobs. I can motivate for anyone for anything because, you know, that's just how it is. And uh, I've always got a very effeminate voice. You know how people respond to an effeminate voice? <laughs> very, very, you know, very, people respond to an effeminate voice very, very well. It's just, it's just, it's just a known fact. Also. I can motivate via fear, if needed. I can do all sorts of motivation, and fear, fear is one of my specialties, because, you know, if you're in a voice giving you fear, if you're in a voice can bring a lot of fear into people, and that might motivate them to do stuff. <laughs> do this or I kill you. Yes, essentially. <laughs> Your mother would be disappointed no, in you if you didn't do, if you yes. did, if you didn't do, my, do this thing. So get motivated, everyone. I'm just a simple, simple <laughs> salesman. I can. I have a six pack. You look at me. I'm already gonna motivate you because if a fat schlub like me can get a six pack, I, you can do anything. And you know what? I'm gonna tell you how to do it because I have medicine, medicinal pills that will solve every problem ever. <laughs> all for all for twenty ninety nine. I. I should be handling, and I will, and this will motivate you to do everything. This is me and my motivational speech. I'm just going to sell you these pills that will solve all your problems ever, and there you go. I rest <laughs> my case, and I got a six-pack to help sell it. Oh, man. <laughs> you know, much as I would love to give it to Styles, honestly, a threatening thing. Stuff to do. That can be pretty tricky, but I mean, the pills kind of sell it, don't they? I'm open to all sorts of ideas well, and motivations. You solve your problem of the guy who's trying to kill you with fear. Yeah. He's just trying to sell you That's stuff. He's like, he's trying, to, he's trying to sell you sell your stuff. But they solve everything. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, so, so does, um, so does Bright. You don't so need like... a motivational speaker. When all you have to do is sell the pills. You'll make more money that way. <laughs> yeah, and the best the part time. is, when you take the pills, they'll get their pills will deactivate. So you can sell them more. Woo. Okay, well. <laughs> all right, well, you can't really argue with that, can I? <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh great. Up. Now, now I've got the card I mentioned earlier. <laughs> <sighs> right, well, as you can see, a lot of my jobs aren't working out, and I managed to get myself out of the closet. <laughs> but I'm looking for oh. a porn star. Oh god damn it! Really? <laughs> what? I just want to tell you now. I have the happy ending card. <laughs> <laughs> god damn it! I have all these I cards for it. Something real quick again, just to be sure. Um, do we really want to do this one? Because it's going to be sound similar to the Dominatrix, or do we want to move on to a different... Or do I try to look for a different person? No, no. I, 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 this will work. This will okay. work. <laughs> okay. Um. So, you're yeah, looking for a porn okay. star. The star of my latest... The star, the star of my newest film. Bob Man. X-rated. So, the first thing I have... I have fishnet stockings. That's pretty well, sexy. That's a shoe in. Yeah, they look good on a woman, and they'll look good off. <laughs> if you know what I mean. She also flies. Mm -hmm. My client also flies. Okay. So, hey, hey, you can sell that. Like, uh, I mean, I, I can, I can already, I can already picture it now. Dress. Like she's an angel. Don't need to use wires or anything. But she does have a disorder. But I think you're going to be fine with this. Her disorder is nymphomania. 
Okay, well, <laughs> I know. <laughs> she loves this sort of stuff. Well, from what from what I, from what I hear about nymphomaniacs, they don't actually they don't actually like what happens to them. Uh, this one does. For mm. the sake of this, so we don't care. Into yeah, fair enough. <laughs> We're doing. This, I'm, just, I'm just doing this for the comedy, like actual. <laughs> yeah. God damn it. The cards I have. Oh man, I could have made a story out of this, but. <laughs> I'm no, pretty I... sure you could. <laughs> but then I uh... uh, the, the, wouldn't have them for the next for the ne like I wouldn't be as funny for the next one for any <laughs> potential. Uh, uh... I've already given away the happy ending. <laughs> ah, cool. Uh, right, so I'm perfectly suited for a jobless porn star. I can't believe I'm saying this, but anyway, um, I'm perfect for it because it's actually my secret identity already. Oh, ah, porn star by day, yeah. superhero by night, or yeah. porn star, or or regular person by day, porn star by night. Indeed. I can I see the I can see the headlines. All... I can see the videos already. I also don't have to deal with all the emotional BS that goes around stuff <laughs> because. I'm emotionally hollow. I don't well, then, how are, we, how are we supposed to know? How are we supposed to know when we get to the money shot? Doesn't matter. We don't, we don't care about that, right? You still feel it, just don't care about the person you're. So you're good at faking with. it. We'll call it that. Faking the money um, shot. Even I have better. To check what this one is again. Now. Oh yeah. Also, I have a very special finishing move, and I'll leave the imagination, to you guys. Called jazz hands. <laughs> <laughs> And I'm so glad that said it's spelled an A and not with an I. <laughs> That's you know called. what? I think he wins. Just <laughs> yep. with jazz hands alone. Jazz hands. Jazz hands. I'm just finding a barster. Jazz hands. <laughs> yeah. oh, good grief. All right, the so... sooner we get out of this awkward situation, the better. Yep. <laughs> Next. <laughs> All in good fun, right? Like, yeah. Am I looking for something now? Yeah, you are, Bryn. Or... I think so, yeah. Oh, we went... We went... In a... we, we changed direction. What? Mm. No, no, we've always gone... We've always gone counterclockwise. Mm, I was looking yeah, for four star. No. Now it's your turn, Bryn. No, it used to go for you, then me, then bio, and then you. Now yeah, it's so... going... No, I was looking for the porn star, so now it's your turn, Bren. Oh, you're right, you're right. My brain... Uh, I'm, it, it, it's literally 1240. <laughs> what are you looking for? Okay. A model. <laughs> now we need a model. Uh, look, look, you want to get skip that? Want to go for another one? <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, I'm going to... Uh, let's try this again. Yeah, maybe. Let me guess, you can pick up model, right? <laughs> okay, a trill, sorry. Oh, God. <laughs> Okay. Well. Rest in peace. Rest in peace, our favorite one. Well, uh, let's see. Well, as a drill sergeant, all right, ten, shut. I am looking for a drill sergeant job, and okay, I don't get to the voice anymore. <laughs> but as you can yeah, see, don't. okay. But as you can see, well, I have the intelligence of a brick. That's kind of what you need in the drill sergeant, isn't it? To be like a brick, a brick wall. I don't take any, I don't take intolerance from all like from the soldiers beneath me. I'm the one who take. I'm the one, <laughs> and all that. I'm the one who does all that stuff. I'm the one who gives out the orders, and they better obey. Because I'm like a brick wall. I'm like a brick, right? Also, I'm very, very sneaky. So you know, in the night, when the sol dis most disobedient soldiers, I sneak into the quarters and I pull all sorts of, and I sneak into the night and I get out my get out my whistle and wake everyone up and go, all right, everyone, wake up. It's time to get to some training. And they would never hear me coming, so they can't, you know, prepare for it or whatever. <laughs> and lastly, I have a scented candle, just because, you know. What do you think? It's not like the other. A scented candle, just, you know, just because I can. <laughs> I just have it. Well, little can. jacket would have been a much different movie if he had a scented candle. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been great for the poor stuff. <laughs> Confused, most of the confused the grunts. It's most of the confused the grunts because they see I set the candle, they'll be like, What the hell? What set the candle for? And then as I sneak up to them, I put the set of candle on their face and light it. <laughs> That'll teach them. 
Yeah, that'll teach him. What are I complaining about? I'm and like a brick wall. I'm like, nope. Bacon scented. Have you ever smelled a bacon scented candle? It does not smell like bacon. See? I can imagine. See, that's what I can use. I can use that scented candle to, to, to take each everyone a lesson. Put, it, put that in the room and they'll be all like, okay, okay, okay. We'll, we'll obey your orders next time. We'll do as you say. Don't put that candle in our room. Don't sneak in and put the candle in. Okay, well, any case. <clears throat> so, looking for a drill sergeant, which is great because I'm totally ripped, which just shows and demands respect and everything. The other thing a drill sergeant needs to do is to be blunt. You know, you can't be a drill sergeant if you can't look someone in their face and call them a freaking maggot. So, we got that covered. And I'm going to do everything I can not to be sent out again because I'm an STD. <laughs> 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 oh my god! <laughs> you know, you have me going there! And then you. It's just like styles! I know! Like, we got two good skills, and then, like, what? Actually, I'm not gonna lie. I had this card since the beginning, and I thought it said PTSD. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Which actually would have been a better fit here. <laughs> Final Fantasy is for sneaky though. But nope, it's STD. <laughs> you got it. <laughs> oh, oh god! Yeah, oh my god! I, I I gotta give this a Styles because I think a scented candle is all slightly more pleasant than an STD. You know, AIDS. Yeah, you don't, you don't want to. I mean, the implications of it. <laughs> what, you're going to sneak into a so into the soldier's room and... No yeah. comment. We're done. Oh, now. God damn it. Oh, no. Oh, okay. Yep. Go ahead, bye. That's up to me now, right? Yeah. Who are you looking for? I am looking for a proctologist. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> mm, well, okay. well, uh, let's see. Oh, 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 oh. You know what? I okay, only well, need one card. Well, first of all, <laughs> let's just say, first of all, as a proctologist, you know, I really got to get up in there, and you know, you got to put the gloves. You got to, you got to put the soap on. You got to get the glove or whatever. And you got to get really in there. I'm already moist. <laughs> So, easier access if I'm already moist, right? Oh, God! That is and, if a, a and if something goes wrong with the diagnosis, I can't lie. I'll tell you exactly what it is. What's wrong with you? Tell the patient exactly what it is. Uh, but don't worry. It always has a happy ending. <laughs> Good luck. Okay. I only need one card. And you know what that is? It's a time machine. <laughs> Basically, what I do is I do the whole proctology thing, and then I go back in time before I did it and tell him what happened. So he doesn't have to experience getting a hand up his ass. But Snake, you can't do that. You'll go to time paradox. <laughs> oh, man. Besides, it's a proctologist, it's a proctologist's job here. You, you just, you're just you're neglecting your duty. You still have the memories of... What, you might go back in time and tell him what happened, but you still have the memory of putting your hand up his ass. Or his or her ass. No, no, it's so he doesn't have to experience it. So basically you show up at somebody's doorstep. Don't go out on Friday. Man. <laughs> you have to go back! Essentially! Back to the future! <laughs> <sighs> Look, I okay. In, if you want me to throw other cards up, yeah. I have a boat and I don't know a, a bunch of pounds. Like I have money. Ooh, money. <laughs> your time machine's a boat. Your, your time machine's a boat, and you. <laughs> I, I have a boat time machine. I have to go eighty-eight miles per hour. On my... Eighty-eight knots per hour. 80, 80, you have to reach the time machine. The time machine boat has to reach, 80, reach 88 knots. <laughs> Back with the flux knots. capacitor. And it usually crashes into a pound afterwards because <laughs> <laughs> it likes puppies. Yeah, I think you win. Yeah. 
Oh, good grief. <laughs> See, cause I, I actually, I actually have the proctologist thing going on here. <laughs> All right, well, yeah. As you can see, I'm 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 looking for I'm looking for a certain person to um I'm looking for I'm looking for an archaeologist. You know, I got yeah, I got, I, got, I got, I'm I'm working on a I'm working on a park. Uh, you see, with my trust fund, I'm working on a park. All right, I just got out the closet. My gas is uncontrollable and all that, and I'm sick of sticking my hand at people's asses. So I'm starting up. A Jurassic Park, and I need an archaeologist to dig for the for the for the fossilized amber to get the insect blood and stuff like that. This is why I would okay. But dino DNA. Perfect for that. <laughs> oh man. Dino <laughs> DNA. <laughs> okay, so here's what I got. Okay, I have white privilege. Therefore, oh. I'm already advantaged in life. Second. I have survival skills, so I actually know how to survive out. Even if my privilege doesn't help me. So I can survive in the city, and I can survive out of the city. Mm -hmm. And if all else fails, and we do, and your part doesn't do so well, we can all store some fairy dust. <laughs> <laughs> and then you can imagine <laughs> you have your park. <laughs> well, so that's not going to be great for the... I don't know. I don't know. Uh, what about you, uh, Mister Doc Doctor Doctor Hazard? <laughs> Doctor Hazard. That is. That is like a name to run away from really fast. You're like hey. Diet Doctor Doom. <laughs> well, you, Doctor Blight. <laughs> Fly slide. No, no, no. You, no, no. Doctor Hazard. Is the name of the guy that Doctor Doom has to temporarily rule over Lot Baria when he has to go out. <laughs> okay. So basically, if you want to dig into archaeology, it means you pretty much have given up, right? Digging a hole and stuff—that's boring. You don't. Like and ruins. So what you need? So what you need is a party. Okay. You know, something to leave yourselves up. So rather than digging holes, we'll go out camping and stuff, you know, pretend like we're doing actual work. But I shall bring rum and brownies. We're <laughs> just going to have a good old time. <clears throat> and that is going to be great because I forgot what this card is. Besides, I can't do proper archaeological work because I've got clammy hands. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to hand this off to Dr. Tenkage. He's got, he's got, he's got, the, he's got survival skills, and he's got very dust if stuff goes completely and utterly Not wrong. Party person, huh? Well, hey, yeah, Robin, Robin Brown, he's, he's got very dust. <laughs> <laughs> That's the only god I need for my. Cocaine <laughs> 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 is my god. <laughs> oh, good. good I have store flame good. and all that. Yeah, yeah so. <laughs> oh, uh, sorry, I accidentally drew more than, oh, shuffle more it up. than I needed. <laughs> Alright, so, what are we looking for? I need a butler. Well, uh, let's see. Yeah. Ooh, okay. Hmm. Well, first of all, I'd like to explain that I just have a beard. <laughs> <laughs> I, have so a, I have a beard, and... Sad childhood, so you know. But the sad childhood has led to me having a cold black heart. So you a know, I'd I'll serve you. I'll serve you well as my but. I'll serve you well as a butler, and you know, with my nice beard and stuff like that. But and cold black heart. So I'm not gonna. So if it, so if some so if some um wastrel comes to your doorstep and you know demand and asks you for money. I can just turn away without, you know, I can turn away because I can say, I have a sad childhood. I know what it's like to be a poor, starving orphan wastrel. But, you know, I don't give a crap. T go away. Go away, you scum. And they'll look into my eyes and they'll see that I'm cold and dead inside. And then you don't have to bother with them. Plus, you don't have the beard. Okay. All right. No, no, I see where you're coming from. The beard. You bastard. <laughs> <laughs> he's got, he, he, you see him with the beard, you're like, yeah, this guy, this guy looks like <laughs> the evil butler material I need. 
So, so you have like the Nega Universe goat evil goatee. The beard, the big beard. It looks kind of the goatee appeal to it, yeah. <laughs> a big goatee beard. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, like evil ducks were. <laughs> <clears throat> okay. Butler, right. So basically, you need a butler. Hmm? <laughs> well, I'm perfect for it because I'll be perfectly capable of handing, dealing with your gluttony. I'm so fast, you'll never be without food or drinks. It's going to be amazing. People will absolutely be envious of my service to you. Oh my God. If, this is if the next one is lust, <laughs> a hallucination. Wait, yeah. What? I had to stretch that one, didn't I? <laughs> No, 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 I didn't hear that last one. This is definitely not a hallucination. I am here for uh, you. <laughs> you know what? I got to give this to him. He's here for me. Like, what if I'm on my deathbed? Well, I have a cold black heart. You're not going to save me. Well, you know, childhood. <laughs> my childhood. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It's your turn. Bye. Right, oh, oh, oh speaking, one, speaking of sins, speak, speaking of sins and stuff, I got like... speaking of sins and stuff. Well, I got I found one, not lust. <laughs> okay, well, how about we do this one battle royale style? We pick something and we each put our cards. Okay, that works. Okay, so how about okay? So we have to decide who would be the best bartender. Well. Uh, let's see, I'll do that, uh, that, and, hmm. And you know what, I think for this you could just put down as many cards as you think you're going to need for this job. Okay, well, <laughs> first of all, uh, I, have an yeah, associate, I have an associate's best. degree in bartending, and I have no shame. Hmm. You know, just... So if anyone, anyone comes to the bar, I can be like, yep, I have no shame about what they do or what they order. I'll give it to them and I'll give anything to them because I have no shame about it. I'm not okay. going to question it. I can be an ear to them. I'm not going to question what they have because I have no shame. For me, I have a red panda mascot. <laughs> he's clean, don't worry, but you know, he's like the mascot. And basically, it's like there'll be these, like little shows where... He'll mix up some banana themed drinks and all that. Because people always mistake him as a monkey, but really, you know. Red uh, you ever see uh a Kung Fu Panda? You know, uh, you know, pose teacher. Yeah, that's a red panda, if you can believe it. Hmm. Also, I sell massage oil on the <laughs> So hey, if bartender doesn't work, I at least got another job. I'm looking for bartender, not not a Secondary job. You're stealing a resume for the second job. You, you, okay, in this economy, I mean, when you buy a red panda, you need a second job. You know how expensive they are? Alright. <laughs> Final one throwing his job. I am a little devil <laughs> with a fancy monocle. <laughs> yes, that's a pretty picture. Now I already come pre-equipped for my bartending duties with a utility belt. Yes, I have corkscrews and everything and little pouches to put caps and stuff oh like that. God. It's going to be brilliant. What's and the last card? The last card is bipolar. So you also get a show when I get one of my manic episodes. I'd say, oh I'd, I'd hand it over to Bio. <laughs> yeah, I vote it goes to Bio. <laughs> so do I. Like idea we go to a bar and it's el diablo with a monocle <laughs> utility belt that's just awesome <laughs> so uh, final score six for me five for styles and two for bio i think I don't know. he's got seven. Oh, seven. so bio one yay Woo. here's the cards that i didn't use <laughs> well i was gonna just pick up two more but here's the cards i could have been <laughs> You can see why I didn't want to use it. <laughs> I still have left critical, clinically depressed and short attention span. Uh, I have night terrors, daddy issues, a bone, and the V card, aka virgin card. Okay. Piercing liberal. 
<laughs> well, we still have plenty of the qualifications cards, so we could pick this up on another time. True. Definitely. <laughs> I was gonna flip that. <laughs> I was gonna flip the table. Ah, there we go. Now I can flip it. <laughs> but yeah, thanks for all attending and all that stuff and things. <laughs> yeah, this is fun. <laughs> we'll tip yeah. the scales in another time, I guess. Oh, what a feeling! Cards falling from the ceiling. Woo! Woo! All right.